Hello, I'm Georgie and welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of the top technology news stories from across the globe. For this episode's Hot Topic interview, we spoke with Richard Gould from EY about AI and its impact on jobs. First though, here are your top international stories. Bloomberg Capital closed its fourth fund. The team is to manage $200 million, an increase from the $150 million in its previous fund. Bloomberg plans to use the money to invest in early stage startups, particularly in the enterprise, security and fintech spaces. Uber is withdrawing its services in Denmark due to a new taxi law that sets out requirements for drivers such as mandatory fare meters. Uber claims about 2,000 drivers and 300,000 riders use its app in Denmark. It said in a statement that it was shut down its services in the country on April the 18th. Netmarble, one of the world's top mobile and PC gaming firms, filed to raise up to $2.35 billion through an IPO in its native Korea. The company said that the money raised would be used to pay off debts, invest in R&D and pursue investment and acquisitions. Google's EMEA president of business and operations apologised for the misplacement of advertising next to extremist content on YouTube. This comes after brands including HSBC, Marks & Spencer and L'Oreal pulled advertising from the video sharing site. The company later announced a host of changes to its advertising systems meant to give brands more control over where their ads appear. After replicating Snapchat stories format in Instagram, WhatsApp and Messenger, Facebook is now releasing it in its main mobile app. Facebook Stories allows users to post photos and videos in chronological order that disappear after 24 hours. That's it for our global tech news roundup, but do keep watching to see this episode's Hot Topics interview. We spoke with Richard Gould from EY about artificial intelligence and its impact on the labour market. Richard, welcome. So our hot topic interview today is around artificial intelligence and I first of all want to ask you, what are the main advantages that AI can give to businesses and individuals? So AI is huge already. There are a large number of startups out globally looking at this area and one VC said to me recently that every technology company is going to involve machine learning or AI before too long if they're not already. And as I say, there are a large number of use cases, but to me, one of the most exciting areas is around data. There's an exponential amount of data being created and AI enables it to be analysed. So the analytics will create new business models and derive value from this big data pool. Yeah, we can unlock the potential of big data. Um, something that's constantly in the headlines is how AI can make some jobs obsolete. Are there some jobs that are more at risk than others? Clearly, a combination of technologies, robotics, machine learning, AI, is talked about as being a mass threat to employment. And, and for sure, there will be some jobs that get displaced. I think that other jobs will be created in the same way as there is displacement. And typically, blue collar type jobs and the more junior jobs within the white collar world, I think, are a threat. But equally, there will be new opportunities created. And should jobs be protected? And if so, whose responsibility is that? Should that be coming from the government? Well, fundamentally, I guess I believe in a free market and therefore talk about protectionism does always give me a bit of an allergic reaction. However, there is a really important ethical debate to be had around all of this. And I think that's a combination of academia and government and business and the populace at large to agree some parameters. But government protectionism, I, I don't feel that's the right place, certainly for this country to go to. So you'd rather there'd be more just sort of discussions had around it at this stage? I think that's the way to go. Overall then, could AI conversely end up creating more jobs? So I think that there will be new roles that will be created and clearly technology is a threat to some existing roles but at the same time technology is an opportunity. So a lot of mundane jobs can move to being much more exciting, interesting jobs and, and that's the opportunity I think that AI creates. Thank you, Richard. So that's all for this episode. To get more top tech news straight to your inbox, visit techcitynews.com forward slash subscribe.